Alright, so we can just continue with scanning for now. Everything should be set pretty much. And there is really nothing else to scan outside of just intel. So, we'll do that I suppose. Okay. We have an opportunity to salvage some high good, materials. Good, good. Assuming we can clear out the alien forces. We can. Commander, the resistance has relayed information concerning advanced supply lines. We should disrupt their transports. Supply raid. Advent is moving valuable alien technology across New Arctic. If we strike quickly, we can recover the alien tech for our own purposes. Raid the Advent trade. No! Not trades again. God damn it. So, okay. I think grenades would have to go scanner. I mean, pretty much the same setup, I think. I don't really have a lot of choice. So I think the setup will have to do. Hey, right, let's go. So between this video and the previous one, I made a couple of very simple tests. Not much to speak about, like... Mostly stuff I mentioned before that I would want to test after that, and I tested that, and it wasn't anything particularly interesting. But, I noticed one thing that I would like to show now. Neutralize all enemy targets, secure supplies on advent train. Uh-huh. Nothing too. Unusual about any of this. Hey. Here is the thing. Uh, I noticed that I can actually use evac at any point that I want. And I didn't mess too much with it, so I don't know the exact circumstances, but basically I can call it at any point, and I think I can actually evacuate anytime I want. Like, I could evacuate right now if I want to. So that means that actually if anything goes even slightly wrong, I can just run. Like, that's an option. That's a legit option in this game, it seems like. So, regardless, um, I don't get it. Do I have no time limit? It cannot be, right? Well, what would be the safe place to go to? Maybe something like... I don't know about this. I definitely want to check this area first, but... This point should be pretty safe, like... The style, but I cannot actually get there. Well, honestly, this style is also pretty safe. There can't really be anything bad there, unless there is a pack straight straight uh, in front of me. Oh yeah, let's do this. Let's go there. Heading there now. Check stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, good. Now, one of you. Could actually dash to the car and check some more. And, an enemy squad here. and there is something, okay. I think we would need to kill them. Unfortunately. They could actually uncover me potentially. No, they can't. Because I think this is blocked. They wouldn't be able to see me through the there is no line of sight. So I don't think they can actually ever see me. But maybe, maybe, I don't know. Regardless though, the sniper would need to have a position somehow. And I think it would be best to go there, probably. Go, go, go. It might not be safe actually, it might be not a good move because... Well, I'm in the corner. Like, I assumed I would need to go somewhere there, judging by the, you know, by the tracks. That my goal would be there somewhere. So I would assume this area is more dangerous. And this area is less dangerous. Therefore a sniper would have a good position there. But I shouldn't really assume that. It's not actually that obvious. Regardless though. Um, this is relatively safe. But not like 100% safe. This should be safe-ish. This should be safe-ish. 
And then I would like to set one of you in Overwatch, just in case. Because, you know, who knows? Something might happen. And if you could get closer, that would be preferable. Maybe like this. Okay, let's see what happens. They shouldn't be able to see my um, grenadier. Okay, if, if it goes... If he goes that far, he might be able to, actually. No. Good, good. But, now I actually do want to kill them. So there is an 82% shot with a sniper rifle. And then there is... Um, I can kill one of them just with a sword, actually. At any moment. That's not exactly a problem. The question is, is there anyone to my right? Also, objective. Avoid destroying critical supplies. Okay. I can just try to kill the second one, actually. Like with the Bradford, for example. I mean, I can kill this one with a sword. But then if he runs away, it's a bit of a problem. And I will not be happy about it. Maybe... Maybe just triple overwatch and then shoot with a sniper. Let's try it. Let's try triple overwatch and shoot with a sniper. And then this guy uh, will will be will act as a backup, pretty much. I just don't really want to run in with a sword onto this pack when like I don't even know if there is anyone else around. It could end in a disaster. But I would need to hit preferably this guy. If I don't, we have a little bit of a problem. Okay, we do though. That's good. This guy's definitely dead. I can kill him with a grenade if necessary. But I hope he just dies. That would be the best case scenario. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, I can kill him. So, I'll actually spend the grenade, because I am not 100% sure I can just... Even if I get as close as I can, it will still not be 100%, so... I really would like to do it safely, as safely as possible. Something like this. I think like I should have I should have maybe not did it with um with Ranger. Maybe I should have uh, left Ranger out of Overwatch. Wait, what? What supply crates? Wait, what? Which those supply crates? Okay. That's new. Okay, okay. I'll uh, keep that in mind. But then, like, am I safe? Do I not have to, uh, hurry? Because, you know, if I don't, then, uh, that's pretty good. We can actually regroup then. Rabbit can follow us to this place, maybe. Or, like, this place. This place should be safe. Okay. Trigger. Oh, new enemy type. Interesting. Two misses. Not the result I was hoping for. And three enemies I saw. Yeah, normal one, then a snake person. Yeah. I see. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. So, actually, an old enemy type. Strictly speaking. Anyway, I would need a grenade there. Where from? Maybe there? Yeah, I think there is pretty safe. Let's do okay. this. 
And let's do one of the grenades somewhere there. Like this. Yep. Wait, what happened to this guy? Wait, what? Oh, nothing. Um... You don't see anyone. Are you serious? <laughs> How? Oh my god. Actually, though. Look at it. How? <laughs> you can see the only, the, the only this guy. Really? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. I can actually kill this guy for sure with a grenade if I need to. So let's see. I would like to get closer and to blow up the Thin Man. Maybe like this. With a shotgun, preferably. So, yeah, let's try to do this. Moving to position. 95% is good enough. Not a guaranteed kill, however. Okay, worked out. This guy is dead. I can kill him, if necessary. But, uh... Okay, so I cannot actually use my grenades yet, because I might need it for this guy. Therefore, we would need to make the sniper shot regardless. This will have to happen. Okay, so do this then. Yep. If you hit, then it becomes easier. Perfect. Well, that's easier then. There you go. Then you... Can actually pretty safely try to hit him. There is no position though. Maybe this, maybe this. Nope. There is really no position. Like his current position is the best one possible. I can't even get closer. Look at it. Look at it. God damn it. Okay, then just shoot. That's fine. Okay, nice. I didn't even need any grenades. Perfect. Then what we need to do, well, we can just, we don't actually need to reload, we can just overwatch for now. Okay, and we need to get closer, but first we need to reload. One of you though, could get a bit closer. Check if anything is happening, doesn't seem like it. Okay, I assume there is like one more pack. Um... I would be able to get there. I would like to get a sniper there, actually, on this roof. Or like this place. Maybe this is the best case for me. Let's do something. Let's do a slow turn, actually. Let's get you there. That's the equipment we're after. We're okay. Best to avoid destroying the gear while we secure the area. Also, I actually forgot that I have conceal. That's really good. And I have battle scanners. But first, I kind of want to reload, actually. So let's do that. And then you people, I would really like to get a bit closer. The question is, do I want to risk it by going there? I don't really need to. I can stay, like, a bit in the back for now. And then Sniper, I would really try to get into this position, or this position, on the next turn, if possible. So for now, I would like to get somewhere from where I can do so. There. Maybe there. And you could just, I don't know, Overwatch, I suppose. I don't really need ammo. So the idea is, you go there, and then prepare to go up. Okay. Now... There are a few options. First of all, I kind of want to see what conceal is. I assume it doesn't end your turn. Right. And then I can just check some things out. Okay. Like this. And like, I don't even know. Something like this. No. Second thing is, you go there, actually. Okay, after that, you continue and go there. This should be safe. Rolling. And I think we secure it pretty much. 
I would like to bring a sniper to the position where my heavy currently is at. But for now, Got this it. seems okay. And then we just get a bit closer and just wait. So I would like, if there is a pack to my right, I would like it to be triggered by my unit that is in concealment currently. And for that... For that... I would need to bring my engineer or specialist, as it is... To somewhere where it's a bit more safe, but also a bit closer. Maybe like there. This, sh this should be good enough. Okay. If anyone didn't do anything, just go Overwatch then. Also, by the way, one uh, distinction between this game and the previous one is that uh, I don't, at least I didn't hear any noise so far. There was like a, usually you had a direction from where a noise came from, so you could knew where, you could know where the packs are, generally. But like in this game, you don't actually know that. Like, I have no idea. Well, I mean, I'm not really in a hurry. Where is the end of the map? I can throw some scanners, in fact. Where am I? Okay, ideally, I just hide somewhere safe. Maybe like there. This should be safe. Is it though? Is it safe? Maybe this is safe. This is actually completely safe, I think. It oh, it's yellow move! Oh. Oh, not exactly then. What was it? What? Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, that's fine. So, can we get like one tile closer? God damn it, we ca we couldn't. Just one tile was enough. I must stop with um, with this movement. But she isn't concealment though, so it's not that bad. Do you see anyone? You see one guy. It could be... Tr yeah, I should try to kill him. It's 82%. I will not get a better chance of it, so... Okay, good. Then... Um, I can at least try to kill another one. I have three shots. And you cannot actually do anything at the moment. Here's what I am proposing. I can flashbang both of them. I can actually, like, kill this guy pretty much guaranteed. If Bradford gets a bit closer, maybe like this. But it wouldn't help, really. Mm, I don't even need to get closer. Well, I need to get a bit closer. To force this guy to move. But this should be fine. I think this should be safe. Pretty much. And then the idea is. I just blow this guy's cover. Maybe not even the snake person. I just want to get rid of this log in fact. In fact you know what. Maybe I just want to blow all of the cover there. So that the snake person wouldn't be able to run there. Whatever happens afterwards. Like... Well, can't get the rock. So maybe something like this. Okay, that's the plan. I don't know if it's a good plan necessarily, but I can't kill both of them. Unless I risk it severely. And I don't really want to risk it severely. So the plan is, I do something like this. Now, I assume Snakeman would not be able to flank me. Because the only position that would be flankable, or where I would be flankable from, is this one. But, like, it shouldn't be an angle. I'm so deep into the roof. Like, it shouldn't be flankable from there. And you should have... Uh, it's not 100%, unfortunately. But, okay. It will have to do, though. Good enough. And the idea is I just flashbang the last guy. That's the idea. So you get closer and then you flashbang. 
If you couldn't flashbang, though, we would have a problem. How far is the flashbang? It goes pretty far, potentially. But I can't really get that much closer, unless I go in. I could actually go in. I think I should go, like, there, maybe? There is a roof, but... I don't know. But, like... I don't think... Yeah, this is even worse. So, it's either that I go on the roof... Or I go into the building and try to hit the snake man from there. I think this is uh, preferable. So I just want you to do a flashbang like this. Good. It's not the best. He still could hit. But at least there shouldn't be flanks, I think. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's completely fine. Overwatch is not a problem. Okay. Now, my sniper doesn't actually have a shot. Perfect. Well. You do have a shot. If I, if need be, I could actually take Overwatch. With this guy. I have uh, two... Charges of two damage if necessary And if I need to I can get closer and just no I can't actually hit him. Oh I can't actually hit him Wait, that's unfortunate. I might need a grenade then in fact I might need to to do something with that Otherwise, I can't really guarantee a kill Okay, let's 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 do the grenade then because uh, I'm not a big fan of this it's just it's a problem if I can't really do a sword hit. Then, um, yeah. On the previous turn, it was a big mistake that I made a yellow move first. I didn't want to do a yellow move. The idea was to, to make a blue move with a ranger, then move one tile with a grenadier, and then reaccess. But then, you know, this plan didn't work that well when, uh, I made the wrong choice. So, you all get your promotions anyway. And you can't really see him regardless of where you go. That's very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Well, one of you would need to try and kill him then. Well, Grenadier just wasted his turn on that, so this would have to be a thing. Good. That simplifies it. Hostile neutralized. Status confirmed. Okay. So three packs. New type of enemy. Uh, pretty sturdy, but not like anything special for now. He probably like does something unusual, but you know. Enemies killed eight out of nine? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? What? Why? How? What do you mean? How is that possible? Well, there were... there were eight enemies. Yeah. There were not nine enemies. I have no idea what that's all about. Oh, well, regardless, I mean, it worked out. So, yeah. As long as there are three packs, actual concealment ability on the ranger should be incredibly strong. If I use it correctly. Like, I wasn't that used to it yet. But, you know, it will get better. I can't imagine the Promotions. Two of them. So, Demolition. Unleash a volley of bullets at your target's cover, significantly damaging or destroying it. Deals no damage to your target. Basically what I use grenades for, but deals no damage to the target. But, like, it also doesn't say that it guarantees destroying th the cover, right? Significantly damaging, like, I don't know about that. Or, Suppression, okay. Fire a barrage that pins down a target, granting reaction fire against it if it moves and imposing a minus 
50. Penalty to the target same. 50. Okay, that's not a choice for me. It's a very easily a suppression. I am... Um, wait, what? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, though, if it still spends two ammo on it. Like, does it spend one ammo or two? But regardless, I would still take suppression. First of all, 50 penalty is just too good. Why can't I choose it? Wait, what? Oh! Oh, wait, what? You mean you cannot choose another? No, you can. Wait, what the hell? Why can't I press it? What is happening? I can only press demolition. Wait, what the... What? What is this black voodoo? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why can I choose suppression for this guy, but not for Bradford? Is Bradford like... You know, set in a certain way, and I cannot choose anything else for him. That's really bad. Wow. But I mean, okay. Oh, yeah. Anyway, l let me try to do it in the barracks then. Regardless, I do definitely want the suppression. Just because it's much stronger, first of all. Minus 50 is a lot. And the demolition, what it does, I already have grenades for. So, like, why would I even need that that much? It would be helpful, but, like, you know, whatever. So yeah, it's clearly a suppression. And then let's get back. Illyrium Core Viper. The Viper's powerful tail muscles continue to clench reflexively for hours after their death. Though precautionary brain Im imaging shows no trace of higher order functions. 54 alloys! 95 monies! Hell yeah. Viper Autopsy. Okay, we'll do that later. But before that... Um, what about soldiers? Bradford! What about them upgrades? I want suppression. Now, now I can. Now I can press it. What the hell? What the hell? Well, regardless. Whatever. Um, fine. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. I bought something, something, something. Some weapon upgrade thingy on a black market. Uh, what does it do? It's stock. Missed shots still deal one damage to the target. We what? What? This is weird. Okay, okay. I so I wouldn't want it on an engineer because engineer already has an ability to do two damage guaranteed and maybe even more later. I wouldn't want it on assault because assaults usually do the a lot. Of damage. Same with snipers. So it's for grenadiers currently? Uh, okay, maybe. It's a bit weird. Okay, I'll think about it. I'm not sure. Regardless though, I think we can just continue. I didn't really need to do anything. Unless I wanted to... I have some money. What I could do is... Do something in terms of researching in Guerrilla Tactics School. Even he and the commander both know and trust Cato from before the war, I'm withholding my judgment for now. As much as the Resistance needs our help, we need their support just as much. What can I do for you, commander? So, it's either lightning strike or it's wet work. Plus three mobility is like okay, but do I really care as much? Plus 25% experience is pretty fucking good. I actually think I'll do. Uh, I'll go for that. Yeah, okay. Something like that for now. And uh, we'll just wait. Also, you know what I could do? I could start building a power relay, in fact. So it doesn't matter in this game where I build them, right? I think so. What is the day of the week? It's April 6th. Okay, if I start building it, it will be fine. Yeah, let's start it. Then, like, when it uh, builds... I could um, rearrange the engineer for now. Maybe I should, in fact. It's not uh, that... I'm not that much in a hurry. I can just do this project as quickly as possible. 
And then, like, when this gets built, maybe I'll just do, well, some other building. Maybe, like, laboratory or something. We'll see. Or something, something. Regardless. Continuing. Commander, you should establish contact with Power fluctuations. Network as soon as possible. The aliens are okay. Moving just some intel. We could do that. I don't really care which intel to get. Could get that, so this one. Don't have anything else to do. Armor. Armor. Outcome of this research oh. Only our advances, Commander. Oh. We've recovered enough of the advent armor to begin repurposing the outer plates into something better suited to our soldiers. The material itself seems to be the same as what the aliens utilized throughout the Avengers hull. An extremely durable substance with an unusual ambient magnetic property. As an armor component, the magnetic field surrounding these plates will actually provide additional protection against magnetic-based weaponry, most notably the Gauss weapon weaponry commonly equipped by advent so that's i think it was the first uh, confirmation that the ship we're on is actually like built by aliens though there were like there was circumstantial evidence but that's uh the first confirmation of it i think anyway new item available predator armor new proving ground projects whatever whatever and this is the thing ADDITIONAL INVENTORY CAPACITY! Oh, that was the project, I think. Or was it the armor? A right, spotty suit. Spotty records from ruined mainframe at XCOM HQ indicate an early prototype for a light armor suit coupled with a grappling hook. Okay, very good. Never came to a fruition. Our recent mastery of the alien's materials may allow us to revive the concept. Okay, okay, I'll need that. Um... EXO suit. If we combine the power assisted armor prototypes we've been working on with some of the advent plating we've recovered, we could develop a heavy variant of our plated armor. More importantly, we might be able to add a heavy weapon mount directly to the armor, combining significant defensive and offensive capabilities in the silver suit. What do you mean? What do you mean though? Eh? So. I think, um, what does this do? Synthesize and incorporate for use in our medical supplies. I don't really use medical supplies. What is this? Oh, I actually want this because it might give me some weapons. What I just do for normal weapons? Actually? <laughs> also, I just could I just could get weapons. That's also an option. Maybe I should just do this, honestly. Just go for magnetic weapons. Yeah, why not? An in-depth analysis of the advent weaponry will no doubt lead to a greater understanding of their magnetic projectile dispersion systems. This should allow for the production of various magnetic-based firearms along with further insights into Gauss weaponry. So, um, I have several questions. First question, how much is for the armor? How much? Like, if I want to make this... One hundred and fifty supplies! Oh no! And six advent trooper corpses. How many corpses do I have? Okay, so I can only build one, but I could build one if I had 80 more. Now, question number two. Can I cancel my power relay and get my money back? I, uh, I assume I can. Okay, okay, it works the same as it uh, did before in a previous game. So, you do this, and then we can actually build at least one armor, and I would just need more, both money and more corpses for the next one, but at least one will be built. So that's good. Oh, it's squad upgrade? Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Squad upgrade? Oh, wait, wait, really? You don't need to, like, manufacture them one by one? That's ridiculous. That's really good, if so. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, regardless, continue scanning, and then when the mission happens, we'll see, we'll see. If that is indeed so. What? What? 
Yeah. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll Let's, need to uh, move fast. Don't worry about it. We can't really do anything at the moment. Strategic resource located. Okay, 52 intel. I think we are flying back. Yes, I think we do. Unless, unless I would want to go to the black market. I don't think I want to go to the black market, so... Uh -huh. Special Forces. Commander, after recent success, members of the Resistance and New Arctic have brought us separate of activity. Soldier. What soldier? I, I mean, I have to do... I have to do that. Though I really, really have my doubts about if it's uh, worth it or not. I really don't think so, actually. It's very unlikely, but you know, because I don't actually know what soldier. I mean, maybe it's overpowered. I don't know. I have to try. Priority message coming through, Commander. Okay. Putting it on screen now. Oh, it's a monthly report. Wait, monthly report? Commander. It's April 12th. Really? Okay. New stuff available. Corporal? Well, which one is Corporal? And another scientist, I assume. So, dropped some money, got some stuff, that's fine. Okay. We received intel. Alloy padding is still happening. And then midnight raids. Cracks down, Edward cracks down on resistance recruitment, increasing the cost of records by 100% for a month. There is not a lot of things in the world that I care less th about than this, so whatever. And I can reveal a hidden event. Do I need to? Or does it happen anyway, regardless if I... Like, will I get the mission to stop it anyway? Or do I need to reveal it right now, if I want to stop it? Okay, okay. Well, that's important to stop. Yes, I do need supplies. Uh, well, yeah, I have to kinda. I, I don't really want soldier anyway. I do want money, however. Yeah? Commander, we've received word that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work on the Avatar project. If we can establish contact with the local resistance forces in this region, we can make a move on that facility and destroy Um, okay, I get the point, operation. but I still need some weapons, I still need some setup. I assume, like, I can get at least a couple months, uh, in the very beginning to set up my things. I don't need, like, to move in immediately. Like, it's, we're still pretty far off from completion of this, so... It's, uh, it's going up, it's going up. Well, regardless... I will go for um, for storyline things next, I think, but... Yeah, I wanted to ask, though, what about corporals? Who are corporals? If I go for soldiers, who is corporal? Your sergeant. What about, like, abilities? Corporal. Oh, it's rank 2. That's kind of garbage, actually. I don't care about that. Okay, continue. Okay. Extract VIP. We get an engineer and intel. Not the reward I would I would be hoping for, but I mean it's best it's better than nothing. Okay. So do you all have armor? Oh my god, you actually do. Are you serious? Wow. Wow. That's ridiculously OP. So you have at least like 10 HP. Okay. Okay, that's way too much. <laughs> what do I even do with that? <laughs> I mean, I suppose you just all go for grenades for now? I, I guess... What do you mean, max one grenade per soldier? Of any type, you mean? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I mean, you go for frag grenade then, and I'll give you flashbang, for example. Wait, what? Oh, so... You have a grenade... You have utility item slots, and those could only contain one grenade at most. 
I see. Uh, well, then something like this, I assume? And I would really like more money then, because I can actually... Oh yeah, then those, like, additional armor padding is actually pretty good. Because I really don't have a lot to give some of my guys, and, uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go. So, same kind of mission, I assume. Right. Deliver VIP. Extract. Same kind of stuff. Got it. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. All right. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Isn't concealed. Okay. Um. So yeah, I can't actually place an evac zone in this mission type, which is uh, understandable. And I do have VIP right with me. And the map is... There is one edge of it. There is another edge of it. I'll assume there is no one there. I hope. And then we need to go basically straight forward. Okay. Well, we'll deal with it in the next video. And for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.